hey guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time watching any of my videos you're welcome it's your girl z face so as you can see in the picture i'm going to be showing you guys how i bleach the knots of my closure most of us have been victims of seeing beautiful closures being slayed online but when you buy them you don't have like the beautiful things you see so this video is going to help you to be able to slay your closures to be able to bleach the knots of your closures so that it should look exactly like the ones you see online so of course i'm going to name my developer that's it i'm showing you right now my bleach powder and my closure so i'm just going to mix those two things together So as you can see I poured my bleach powder into the lid of this container and I'm putting in my developer I'm just going to mix the two of them so that I have a pasty um, liquid something like a toothpaste it should be like in a toothpaste form toothpaste mixture yes at this point I saw that my mixture was really really dry like the bleach powder was more than the developer so I went ahead to add my developer into the mixture so that it gets really really pasty and the way i want it to be so yes that's the mixture i got it right so i'm going to take my closure and i'm going to apply my uh, the mixture i have on top of my lace closure i'm actually using a makeup brush it's a makeup brush i don't use anymore so i just need to just bleach my wigs and stuff like that so i'm just applying that onto my lace closure you want to be very very careful you don't want it to be on any hair because it's bleach it's going to bleach anything it falls on but your your target is to bleach the lace closure so you apply that just on the lace of your closure so after applying that still applying that i'm going to leave it for 10 minutes 10 minutes is my timing if you want to leave it for more t more time it's up to you it's up to the results you want to get so after 10 minutes i'm going to wash that off with my shampoo and i'm just going to put a little bit of conditioner there to just wash off everything to be clean and after that here is what we have as you can see i've bleached the nose of my closure and it looks really really nice and brown So the next step is for me to pluck my closure plugging helps the line to be clean it helps the closure to be clean because as you can see my clothes the line i have there isn't really really uh, smooth and nice you really have like hair so i'm going to pluck the hair plugging when plugging you need to spray the part you're going to pluck because spraying it with water or with anything just to make it like uh, moist so when it's moist it's plugging becomes easy for you so I'm just coming that hair backwards so that I'm going to be able to plug it well so what I'm going to be using to plug are my tweezers everybody knows tweezers right yeah tweezers so I just zoomed in a little bit so you guys can see you guys can see actually in the video that I actually bleached my closure too much my hair is really really brown from the roots but it's okay it's fine it doesn't cause any harm i guess so i'm just plugging the wig now i'm plugging in a random manner because that's not a line i don't want to have bald spots so i'm just plugging like in a random manner i'm not following any pattern but when i get to the middle parts like the middle part where we're going to have the line i'm going to plug in a regular pattern like following that straight line because you want everything to look clean and nice So I'm going to spray that with water because it became dry. Spraying it. So now I'm going to plug this line. I told you guys, plugging means you're removing any hair that you have around the line. You want the line to be clean and beautiful. Like most of us, when we buy our closures, when you don't do these things, your closure is going to look like 
I don't know it's just going to look so I don't know if you guys understand what I mean but it's not going to look like what you see on the internet if you want your closures to be as beautiful as what you see on the internet you gotta do these things man you gotta do these things so I'm plugging I'm just plugging what I'm doing is plugging so as you can see my line is becoming clean it's becoming really clean like the hair I had in the middle I removed all of it so I have no hair you really need to be careful because your line needs to be straight so I'm going to continue plugging 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 So that's it that's it guys look the line is really really clean it's not perfect but it's better than how it was so i'm just going to go ahead and plug the other side of the wig of the closure sorry so you guys know i plug in a random motion when i'm on the side i plug in a regular pattern when i'm on the line like the line in the middle the middle part of the lace closure so that's it it looks really really clean and nice i'm just going to remove that and put it on my palms so that you guys can actually see how it looks so guys that is the line is clean it's come out good i told you guys it's not perfect this is actually my first time i'm trying this out but i think i love the way it turned out it turned out really good though there's some parts in which i didn't plug well like the one i'm going to show you guys right now like the part there i still have some hairs i had to remove but i didn't really want to plug it too much if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel like this video comment let me know what you guys think thank you guys so much make sure you subscribe bye